Good afternoon everyone. Ako nga pala si Leo Espulon. Dati po akong sanitation officer and food and beverage manager sa cruise ships. And I have a lot of vast experience for the things of sanitation. Now, uh, the reason why I created this video is gusto ko lang papakita sa inyo because I'm so concerned about uh, the exposure of uh, this COVID-19 because there is a possible exposure in supermarkets, groceries, and even wet markets. So yun ang gusto ko lang papakita how these viruses and bacteria transfer from one place to another. Now, uh, maraming mga tao pumunta sa supermarkets, groceries, or wet markets every day. At uh, ang mga pumupunta doon is they look healthy. Pero di natin alam if they are carrier. Yung nga sinasabi ng mga expert pagdating sa mga doctors and also uh, researchers, they said may mga tao look healthy pero they are asymptomatic. Now, later on, sila yung nagiging positive. Di ba? Di natin alam kung punta sila doon. Now, ang concern for those is people going there, touching a lot of things. Sometimes they cough, they sneeze pinatakpan ng kamay, then uh, kung may, meron silang uh, face mask, that's fine, it could protect, but uh, there are times that they even touch their mouth, alright, and transfer, you know, once it touch and it transfers anything, if there are viruses there or bacteria, napupunta na dun sa stuff inside the grocery supermarket. So itong gagawin natin, ay uh, titingnan natin how these viruses and bacteria transfer from one place to another. Uh, so, meron akong simulated bacteria. We call this as glow germ. Ginagamit ko ito sa training pagdating ng hand washing procedures. And when it comes to cleaning, surfaces, equipment, and so on, I spray this as well na hindi alam ng mga participants. Then later on, I ask them to clean that at makikita na nila and result after I show them through the ultraviolet light. Normally, I switch off the light, tapos doon nakikita kung may, kung they clean it thoroughly according to procedures or policy. So doon natin na ano, malalaman. And now, let's go back to supermarkets and groceries. So everyone go to the supermarkets, touches a lot of things, at uh, most of Filipinos, have the habits of touching some items, then later on decided not to take it. Then, go again another item, or sometimes reading the label, and that's again the, the item. If uh, their hands are contaminated with bacteria or viruses, then definitely viruses and bacteria transfer to this item. Now, same thing with fruits and vegetables. So, I have some samples of fruits and vegetables and also packaging. And uh, I have also money, right? And card, if I'm going to pay card, and also coins, so and so on. Now, I'm going to spread the simulated bacteria on surfaces of uh, the money and also uh, the take a look here how the viruses and bacteria are also transferred to tin goods and packaging and fruits and vegetables so I'm going to run how these viruses or bacteria transfer to surfaces now I will switch off the light para mas maganda ang, ang uh, makikita natin clearly yung viruses and bacteria which is a simulated one so switch off the light Now, ang unang nahawakan ko, sample, so this are, look at this, so this is exactly how viruses and bacteria transfer to this item, and here, I touch this as well, so look at this, alright, and uh, also, sa so lemon, then I have carrot as well, this is cucumber, sorry, then carrot, right? So here, okay, I have uh, simulated bacteria. When I touch this, look at this. 
So tomato is already contaminated. Alright, I'm going to switch on the light. So, yun ang sample how these viruses and bacteria transport to things that you or touches. Now, next thing that I'm going to do is uh, I go to the, once I already obtained everything, I go to the cashier. Then uh, the cashier will going to give me things. And uh, let's just assume that this has been already contaminated, just like what I have shown it to you. Pinakita ko na sa inyo. Then, ano mangyayari kung itong pera na ito lalagay ko sa wallet ko? So, then, I put it here. Then, of course, the next thing that I'm going to do is put inside my pocket. Now, tingnan natin kung ano nangyayari dito sa inside the wallet. So, papakita ko sa inyo. Since uh, money is already contaminated, and let's take a look how this money go, what happened inside the wallet. You see, it's also contaminated. So now, this is exactly this bacteria and viruses transfer from one place to another. So remember, hindi natin to makikita. Now, anong gagawin natin so that at least we can cut the trend of transmission? Ang susunod na segment gagawin ko is how we, we sanitize and also eliminate these viruses of bacteria. Since we cannot see them, we have uh, certain uh, solutions or any uh, disinfectant that we can utilize in order to at least eliminate them. Alright, so the next segment, so expect that you will see how we cut this uh, transmission of bacteria from one place to another. Thank you for watching.